Have you ever sat through a bad movie just because you paid for the ticket? Or kept clothes you don't wear because they were expensive? That's the sunk cost fallacy at work. It's a trap that convinces us to stick with a bad decision because of the time, money, or effort we've already invested. The cost of holding on. Our brains hate waste, and that's why the sunk cost fallacy has such a grip on us. We irrationally cling to things that cost us something, even when it's wiser to let go. It's like continuing to eat a meal you dislike just because you've paid for it, even if it's making you feel sick. The gamble of good money after bad. In business, this fallacy can lead to disastrous decisions. Companies throw good money after bad, pouring more resources into failing projects in the hope of turning them around. But here's the twist, what's spent is gone. It's history. And it shouldn't affect our next move. Breaking free. So how do we escape this psychological pitfall? First, by recognizing it. Acknowledge that what's gone is gone. Next, focus on the future. What will the next hour, dollar, or ounce of energy cost you if you continue on this path? If the answer is more than it's worth, it's time to cut your losses. The power of moving forward. Making decisions based on the future rather than the past is empowering. It's about taking control and making choices that serve you better. Remember, the past is a sunk cost. The future? That's an investment. Your turn. Think about your own life. Are there projects, relationships, or commitments you're holding on to because of sunk costs? Imagine the freedom and opportunities you could embrace if you let them go. The sunk cost fallacy doesn't have to hold you back. You have the power to choose differently. Choose wisely. Every decision is a new chance to steer your life in the direction you truly want to go. Don't let what you've lost dictate what you have the chance to gain. Break free from the sunk cost fallacy and watch as new doors open up for you. It's not just about cutting losses, it's about embracing potential.